How's it going guys? So this question, a little bit unusual for pediatrics. My other clips, I focus on the absolute highest yield stuff. This one, it's on the NBMEs for pediatrics. It's not my fucking opinion, okay? So this is not some obscurity that you will never encounter. It's on the NBME exams, okay? It's assessed on 2CK. So we're just going to quickly infuse you with this high yield point. So actually, I just fucking said it's not high yield, but I'm infusing you with this point, this factoid nevertheless. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Links are also down below. Now, starting this fucking question here with a 4,900 gram male neonate born in term, 33-year-old woman, uh, had an uncomplicated pregnancy and delivery. So any neonate born over 4,000 grams is considered macrosomic which means big body, macrosomia, okay? And we can instantly start to contemplate uh, differentials based on macrosomia, such as gestational diabetes in the mother, okay? Which is not the case here, but it's something that many students will uh, contemplate. Physical exam shows a large tongue. You say, that's fucking weird. What could cause that? We could think about things such as cretinism, okay? That's congenital hypothyroidism. It's not the case here, but students will think about that. Um, phallocele, this is a non-specific finding. This is when, when we have the abdominal contents herdi herniating through the umbilicus covered in a, a layer, a membrane of uh, peritoneum. Um, as I said, non-specific, you can see these in the trisomies such as Edward syndrome or Patel syndrome, uh, or it can just be an incidental finding. And then we have this uh, strange fucking finding here where the left leg is larger than the right leg. You're like, hmm, like no idea what's going on there. That's hemihypertrophy. Okay, or hemihyperplasia. Both uh, terms are used in the literature. So when we have macrosomia plus macroglossia, large tongue, plus hemihypertrophy, is that connecting the dots for some of you? Okay, I'm phallocele. This is Beckwith Weidman syndrome. Okay, this is a Wilms tumor syndrome. Okay, these kids can develop Wilms tumor, which it's not listed as the answer here, nor do we have it in the vignette. That's why this is a challenging question. I mean, if they said Wilms tumor, a painless flank mass, not in a neonate, it would appear maybe age three, age four. But if we had that, that would make the question a lot easier. But one of the findings we get in beckwith Weidman syndrome is neonatal hypoglycemia. Okay, so macrosomia, large body, macroglossia, hemihypertrophy slash hyperplasia, hypoglycemia, and Wilms tumor. That's beckwith Weidman syndrome. Pediatrics for 2CK, they want you to know that. It's not my fucking opinion, all right? So just quickly looking at some of the other answer choices here. Anal atresia, this is part of Vactoral, okay? Uh, vertebral, it's a constellation for peds, not very high yield, but vertebral anomalies, anal atresia, cardiac defects, tracheosophageal fistula, uh, renal defects, limb anomalies, okay? Vactoral. Endocardial cushion defect, of course, this is Down syndrome, all right, very buzzy uh, terminology, AVSD, ASD, and VSD. Uh, polycythemia, this can be seen in infants or neonates of diabetic mothers, okay? So uh, neonates of diabetic moms can get polycythemia, hyperbilirubinemia, they can get hypoglycemia, and they can get uh, hypocalcemia and hypomagnesemia. Wrong fucking answer in this case, all right? Tracheosophageal fistula, as I just fucking said, is also associated with anal atresia in Bacteral, all right? It's not the answer here. Uh, they want you to know that you can insert a nasogastric tube to diagnose tracheosophageal fistula, obviously unrelated to this question. So that's your take home, okay? You've got beckwith Weidman syndrome. It's a Wilms tumor syndrome, uh, but it's going to be a, a neonate who's born macrosomic with uh, macroglossia and hemihypertrophy slash hyperplasia and neonatal hypoglycemia. That's our correct answer. Okay. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel and I appreciate your time. That's it.